So this episode of Build My Workout was sent through by Fabio. He's 22, lives in Tutin, five foot seven, about 70 kilos, leanish with abs showing, weak points of chest and shoulders. So I'm gonna be doing his chest and well, his push workout today. So I've already done this. I'm gonna show you the footage now and then I'm gonna critique it afterwards. So stay tuned, enjoy the footage and I'll be back. Peace. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the edit, but let's have a look at the workout itself. Okay, made a few pointers. Let's start with, there's just too many exercises. I mean, I, I, I felt like I was in there all day. So I'd probably cut back on the exercise, maybe stick to like two per body part. So push workout, you're looking at chest, shoulders, and triceps mainly. So maybe two per body part. So you, you're kind of in and out because there were like nine or 10 exercises plus drop sets plus um, super set. So it was, it was a bit, it was a bit much. And what that kind of led up to was feeling like either I'd complete the workout and have not much energy towards like the shoulders and triceps area, or I would save my energy on the bench press to have more energy for the shoulder and triceps, which then creates a problem because you're looking for maximum efficiency on all your lifts. You're looking to lift as heavy as you can on all of your lifts. So I feel it was a bit of a hindrance in that respect. And from personal experience, I used to do the same thing. You have a lagging body part, you're like, oh, I need it to grow. So then you start hammering it with like loads and loads of exercises. But really, all you need is like maybe two solid compound lifts and then one kind of blood pump exercise. So say you have the bench press, you have the incline press, and then you have a chest fly. So the chest fly is the blood pump. It's just getting the blood into there, help with recovery, help with, you know, just passing the nutrients through the muscle. I think that's my only, kind of worry with push-pull legs is that because it's push-pull legs, you've got triceps, chest and shoulders, that it's 
you're trying to cram so much into one session. So then if you're gonna do push pull legs twice a week, so you're working out six days a week, then have two main exercises that you'll do on the first one for each muscle group and two in the second workout. So then throughout the week, you're hitting you know, four exercises, four decent exercises, but you're getting that progressive overload and you're always hitting the high numbers. So you're not kind of skipping on the weight to try and get through the session, if you get what I mean. Unless you're on a killer pre-workout or you're on some kind of mad epidurine, driven stimulant then <laughs> go ahead but yeah in my opinion i would split it like that if you get what i mean so all in all great workout well put together but it was just a bit too much maybe scale it back a little bit i'm gonna put like a like a sample type workout of how i change it in the description box so make sure you check that out and yeah try it and see how that works you know let me know in a, in a month or so like how you feel it's getting on how you're developing whether you thought the advice was good or not but that's that's my take on it so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoy this series this series is to help you develop your own program so if you're new to this email me your age lagging body parts and the workout specifically that you want me to have a look at i'll perform it myself and then critique it the same way that i have in this video all the details are in the description box also check out my website www.gabrielsay.com subscribe if you haven't already like share comment and i'll catch you guys later what am i saying